for now, I'm gonna stick away from using the really nice quality camera. So I have two bolts with nuts and bolts with this, by the way, um, mounted up inside and out. I have the nylon threaded bolts on the inside right there, which look really nice. I'm now just drilled the holes for these middle parts, and then I'm gonna get the ends, figure out how I want them attached and kind of stretch to the position they're supposed to be over here and over here. It's lined up perfectly in the middle as of right now. If you look at like where that comes to in the middle and then where this comes to, it's the exact same point. So all I gotta do is mount up the middle from where I just drilled and then I'll troubleshoot that. Once I'm troubleshooting that, I'll go back on the nice camera. I just had to use my phone because I'm like underneath the car with like not a whole lot of room. I have officially made this line up and fit all the way through there. You have no fucking clue how much painstaking time and effort that took to make it even look somewhat reasonable. I have four different clips just holding on there one spot alone. I'm gonna get up underneath there, drill before anything shifts. Wish me the best of luck. Now, I was able to keep everything, for the most part, lined up. The only thing that isn't is this part right down here. The issue with that is the hole doesn't line up to anything over there. The rest of these screws line up. Now, the number one biggest thing I'm going to tell you guys is that you guys need to make sure that this factory mounting point gets mounted. The hole that wants you to mount is right here, but you can't put this hole there. You have to drill out a second spot to make sure that this fits through and still gets that brace that is holding this bumper together. So you get that perfect fitment around that corner right there. So now all I gotta do is press this up, and make sure it forms a nice gradual turn with the rest of the bumper, and then I'm gonna drill and it should be good. If you know, you know. This was so fucking hard to achieve, but the fitment is absolutely mint. At most, I might drill up one in that corner just to right there, just to like lift it up a little bit right there. But overall, it looks really fucking good. If we step back, the lip really makes on the car. Really loving how this lip is looking. Now, all I gotta do is do the same on this side. I learned my lesson. I struggled so much because I drilled up to the very edge on the front right here going from there to there and it was a struggle and a half to make sure that I actually threaded on the nut on the back side this time i won't do it as close but still i gotta do some shots afterwards where we have better lighting but i wanna i wanna It's officially mounted with every single mounting point. I did forget this one on the edge and this one, so it was hanging a little bit. Now let's step back. God, that makes this car look fucking aggressive. It looks so, like look at the front end of this car. It sticks back out. So if I like stick a splitter underneath that, it would even layer it again. It makes this bubbly car not look so bubbly while still keeping the same OEM curves. And it actually makes this cute little adorable Miata somewhat aggressive. So I'm gonna lower it and then show you guys what it looks like actually and with the right fitment. Right now it's super jacked up. There we go, it is official. I know it's in the shadow, actually. I might put it in neutral and roll this car back a little bit, but this is what it looks like. The little holes right there actually does a lot for this front end. And as I step around, I'm sure you guys can see the angles that come with this. This front lip, if you're looking for an aggressive styling lip for your Miata, this is pretty much the only one you can do without going wide body and installing the Rocket Bunny front lip, which comes up all the way up to here, which then match the fender flares that go over here. This car with this front lip is completely changed in my opinion. All I wanna do now is add a chassis mount of splitter, metal one, off of the front of that to even protrude a little bit further, just to the where the nose match up. But goddamn, that is definitely a step in the right direction. 
with the black trim going from red to black down over there also matches the aesthetics on the sides as you can see it carries through and soon i will have a black metal diffuser right there so we're gonna have to do some custom uh fabrication to that because i do have this humongous exhaust so stick around find out how that looks um and yeah i gotta clean up and call it a night my hands are insanely dirty and my hair is but if you guys like this video and want to see more videos on this miata or any of the other things i got going on a wide body mustang and that bike please drop a subscribe